here is our overall workflow. We'll start here with our model. So this model uh, is fed questions and gives responses. And these question response pairs make up your data set. And this is your model that you hope to eventually be able to deploy into production. If this is the first time you're working on building this model, you might start with an off-the-shelf model, such as GPT-4 or Mistral. You can also start with an OSS benchmark. As we go through the data development workflow, you will fine tune this model to improve its performance until you're satisfied and ready to deploy. So for clarity throughout the rest of this demo, I will call this model the fine tuned model. And the question we want to answer today is, how do I know how well my model is performing? The common approaches to evaluation right now are using an OSS benchmark, manual annotation, and using another LLM as a judge for your LLM. Snorkel effectively draws on the strengths of all three of these approaches, which you'll see throughout this overview. So the first step to understand how your model is performing is to create a golden data set. And this is done through manual annotation. To scale this up for evaluation, you then programmatically encode your labeling preferences into functions using snorkel flow. So you can start by using another LLM here we see GPT-4 as a judge for your LLM. You can then add additional signal about your preferences. So for example, here, we don't want our model to mention any of our competitors. Having these labeling functions allows you to scale up your annotation reliably, efficiently, and traceably. You can then use these sources of signal, both manual and programmatic, to train a quality model. And this quality model learns your preferences. So given any data point, it can output a label and confidence in that label. This allows your labeling to scale beyond your current data to any future data you might want to use as well. Once you have some labeled data, you look at your question response pairs and segment the data by question categories you care about. This creates those slices that you care about. So here we have a slice that contains all the administrative data or all the data in Spanish, et cetera. This will give you a more fine-grained understanding of where your model is performing well. Finally, you can calculate metrics to see how your model is performing. And Snorkel Flow uh, allows you to see your metrics across all of these slices. And this provides a fine-grained and actionable evaluation report. Snorkel supports many different metrics. Uh, here we see acceptance rate, and it also allows you to define your own custom metrics. From here, you can dive into the data, focus on specific slices, do further data development on these slices, and curate new data sets for fine tuning. And then you start the whole loop over again.